baptism will now be presented. I present Mackenzie Elise Bonner to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. To all of you. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? We will. Let us join with her who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. You believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born in the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and judge the living and dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? And will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Let us now pray for this child who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Now I invite you all to come forward. Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. 
In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. Thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised her to the new life of grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us his eternal Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. 